is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Bad Dog, here with another New York Giants video. Thank you for watching, guys and girls. Really do appreciate it. Do me a favor, hit the like button, helps out the video more. And you know, hit that subscribe and ring the bell. You got nothing to lose. We've been doing a lot more Giants content as we get closer to the draft and all the rumors come out, free agency, uh, all kinds of stuff. So hopefully you guys will like and subscribe, and I appreciate you watching. A couple of things I want to talk about in this video. Um, first and foremost, the Giants go out, cut Kyle Rudolph. Well, the uh, the cap casualties will begin for the New York Giants. I don't think that this comes as a surprise to any uh, New York Giants fan that's aware of our terrible cap situation. And Kyle Rudolph was another terrible signing uh, by Dave Gettleman. This saves the Giants $5 million. And again, this was a no-brainer. I mean, the Giants signed this guy to a $12 million deal, and he had foot surgery, and the Giants... Could have got out of the contract uh, before, um, you know, he became a giant because he had to have the surgery and everything else. And they decided to keep him on board anyway because that's how idiotic Dave Gettleman and the clown show was. And Joe Shane says, now nah, we don't need you. Really no use for you. We're going to save our $5 million and we're going to move on, which tells me that, I mean, the Giants are going to have to draft the tight end, I would imagine, somewhere in this draft. I can't imagine they're bringing back Evan Ingram either. And, and obviously we're just stuck with... Caden Smith. So I don't know where the Giants are going to go with the tight ends, but again, the Kyle Rudolph uh, cutting him, certainly no surprise. And like I said, I, it's not going to surprise me if you hear these other names being gone. Sterling Shepard, Blake Martinez, James Bradbury. Bradbury's obviously one of our better players, but the reason that the Giants did sign these guys to just three-year deals was so that they could get out from underneath the contracts. And two, again, Joe Shane and company have no allegiance to these guys. Bradbury would save us about $11 million, and we need all the cap space that we can get. Blake Martinez coming off a torn ACL. He's been very good for us, but again, Giants have a lot of draft picks, and maybe they go lesser route, but they have to figure out a way to cut, you know, cap, and this is the way they're going to do it by cutting some of these players. And uh, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned Sterling Shepard, but Shepard, Jabril Peppers may not be bad. There's a lot of guys that are on the fence, and... It doesn't matter who you are. And Joe Shane's pretty much come out and said nobody is safe. So, again, it would not surprise me at all if we see Shepard Martinez and James Bradbury as other guys that are cut. Obviously, Ingram, I'll be surprised if he's back here. Solder ain't coming back here. And I'll be surprised if Peppers is back here. Uh, the Giants are going to have to gut this team a little bit because of the terrible situation that Gettleman left us in. And it's Shane's job to clean it up. And he starts uh, with Kyle Rudolph, which kind of leads me to my next um point in this video and that is the Saquon Barkley trade rumors um Saquon Barkley had a fifth year option 7.2 million dollars so the Giants do decide to cut him which I don't they're not going to cut him but if they traded him the Giants would be alleviated of all 7.2 million they wouldn't have any dead cap as far as Saquon Barkley went so obviously there's no reason not to listen to rumors you know there is a video maker Content creator came out in October of 2020, and I remember he did a video, and he said the Giants should listen to trade offers for Saquon Barkley, and his video maker took a lot of flack for that. How can you trade Saquon Barkley? He is so great, the talent level, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that was me. That's right. I forgot. I made that video in October 2020, said the Giants should listen to trade offers about Saquon Barkley. And why did I say it? Well, because Barkley was hurt on a consistent basis. No matter how talented you are, the best uh, the best ability is availability. He hasn't been available. Uh, he's been hurt a lot, and he certainly does not look like the running back he did in 2018. Now, yeah, I know you can say the offensive line this, offensive line that, the offense. I get it. It's all fact. But this is the last year of Saquon Barkley, do you really want to give Saquon Barkley 10 to $15 million for the next three to four years? I don't think the Giants are going to make that investment. I don't think Saquon Barkley's earned that investment, not because he's not talented enough, but because he's proven that he can't stay healthy. Whether it's bad luck or bad line or whatever it is, that's not the Giants' problem. This is a business, and you got to figure out a way to get the, that cap space. Um, you know, you have a lot of cap space, so you can rebuild this team, and you can get your own guys in here when you're a new regime. Trading Saquon Barkley... Makes a lot of sense. Do I actually think that they're going to do it? No. I can't see them trading Saquon Barkley before the season started. Now, it doesn't mean that they won't do it. 
Maybe we're somewhere in the middle of the season. The Giants are out of it. They can get some, uh, you know, draft capital. They would. He's probably worth about a third round pick right now. But there's a lot of teams that are interested. The Bills could certainly use a running back. The teams like the uh, the 49ers, the Cardinals, and there may be teams that would be interested in taking Saquon Barkley off the New York Giants' hands. Again, if you're a Giants fan, you have to go into this season being realistic. And not expecting, oh, we won four games. Look at the Bengals. They won four games a couple years ago, and they were in the Super Bowl last year. We don't have Joe Burrow, right? We don't have uh, Jamar Chase. We don't have those players. The Giants have to rebuild. Now, if we're able to win nine games, well, that would be a miracle, and that would be fantastic. But you can't go into this season expecting to be good. You have to absolutely tear this team down all the way to the foundation and rebuild that foundation, and then build from the ground up. You can't just tear off the top floor and rebuild the top floor when you have no foundation. Now, maybe Joe Shane hasn't come out and said this is an absolute rebuild, but I don't think that anybody in New York can say that. There's just certain places in uh, sports, in media markets, Los Angeles is one, probably Chicago, Philadelphia, Boston, New York. You can't just come out and go, we're rebuilding. It's not accepted by the fans. They don't want to hear rebuilding. But the fact of the matter is, the Giants need to rebuild. We heard Dave Gettleman say we're trying to rebuild and win at the same time. That doesn't work. And he proved that it didn't work for four years that he was here. They're the worst team in football. We have to tear this thing down and start over. Saquon Barkley, in my opinion, is not the future of the New York Giants. He can come out and he can have a season like he did his rookie year where he, you know, catches 90 passes and he rushes for over 1,000 yards and he, he leads the NFL in yards from scrimmage and that'd be great. But at the same time, do you really want to pay Saquon Barkley based on one great season and give this guy, like I said, 10 to $15 million for the next three to four years? Does Joe Shane want to do that? Do you want to invest all that money in a running back when a lot of people weren't happy with the fact that we invested a number two overall pick in a running back? See, Saquon Barkley does not make us closer to winning a championship. We drafted him in 2018 and we're no closer to winning a championship now than we were in 2018. Again, I'm not saying that they should trade him. And I didn't say that a year and a half ago. What I was saying is that they need to listen to offers. And if they did trade him at this point, is it really going to break anybody up? Is it really going to hurt the New York Giants to maybe get an extra draft capital and save $7.2 million going into 2022? It might not be that bad of an idea. Now I know I've been on board with this too. Hey, let's fix the offensive line. Let's get some guys in front of Saquon Barkley and let's see what he can do if we get some guys that can block. Maybe the Giants aren't going offensive line. Maybe the Giants are going to go one offensive lineman. Maybe they go one defensive lineman. Maybe they do. Maybe they take Thibodeau and they take Hamilton at five and seven. I've seen some mocks like that. I wouldn't be happy with that. Um, but if they, if <laughs> would the Giants win Thibodeau and Devin Lloyd? I'm a defensive guy. I want to build the offensive line. But hell, if you could get Devin Lloyd and Kayvon Thibodeau on your team, that's not going to make me mad. And Joe Shane said when they interviewed him, a lot of their linemen, especially in Buffalo, none of them were first-round picks. So he's obviously found good value later in the draft, which is where your GM makes his money, which is where your teams build the championship status by getting lesser-round picks for less money, or I'm sorry, lower-round picks for lesser money and being able to find those diamonds in the rough that produce in the third, fourth, and fifth rounds of your team. That's really where the GM makes his money. You really should not be missing on top 10 picks. And look at our top 10 picks. Barkley is a miss. Daniel Jones is a miss. I don't care. You you can make all the excuses you want. I'm just looking at the body of work that Barkley and, and Jones have produced. They missed. Kadarius Tony last year. Yeah, this is a rookie season. It was a miss. He had one good game. He was hurt. It was weird. He had a weird season. Um, does that mean he's going to be a bust? No, but he had a bit. You can't say that we hit on that yet. You, may, you can't say we missed on it, sure, but you, we didn't hit on it either. Andrew Thomas is the one guy that I think we hit on. Dexter Lawrence, that wasn't a hit, in my opinion, 17th overall. And DeAndre Baker ain't even with the team. So really, what the hell did we hit on? He didn't hit on a lot, which is why we're in the situation we're in. You don't build your team through free agency. You build it through the draft, and you plug some certain pieces and holes with free agency. And gentlemen did a terrible job about that. So... Again, if you're looking to cut cap space and you want to rebuild and you're trying to get draft capital because that's how you rebuild, you know, cutting Kyle Rudolph is the first step. But like I said, there's going to be many other guys that are going to get chopped off of this team to save money. 
But the Saquon Barkley thing is very interesting. Again, do I think that they're going to trade him or do I, am I saying that I want him traded? No, but if they traded Saquon Barkley, it would not hurt my feelings. And it does make all the sense in the world to say, hey, we're fielding phone calls. If you're interested in Saquon Barkley, you know my number. Give me a call and make an offer. There's nothing wrong with that either. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. As always, always love to hear your opinion down below. Let me know in the comments section. What do you think about Kyle Rudolph? I don't think anybody's going to be upset about that. Who do you think is getting cut next? What are your opinions on Saquon Barkley? Do you want to hold on to him for 2022? You think that we should trade him? Are you going to be mad if we trade him? And if, hell, if we do trade him, what do you think that we should get in return? Anyway, like I said, thank you for watching. Really, you appreciate it. I'm going to be working on a fun video tonight. I hope to have that up tomorrow. I think you guys will, it, it will enjoy it. It's something that I want to work on. I'm going to see if I can get it done and get it up tomorrow. And uh, hopefully you'll watch that one too. Thank you for watching. Bad Diggity Dizzle. Enjoy your Wednesday. I'm out. Peace.